Hello guys, it is me back with another video on uh, not FMG question. We are going to continue the muscles of leg and foot. In my previous in my previous video, I have explained the muscles of uh, gluteal region and the thigh. So do check it out. This is the second part of the, of that video. So let us begin. So guys, uh, muscles in the leg are divided into three parts, three compartments, or should I say? Anterior compartment, lateral compartment, and the posterior compartment. Okay, so now we are going to learn the anterior compartment leg muscles. So there are four muscles in total: extensor, digitorum longus, um, tibial is anterior muscle, and the extensor hallucis is longus, and um, and fibula is tertius which is not shown, shown in this diagram okay so uh, now i will explain the movements so what is dorsiflexion dorsiflexion is basically like uh, uh, you bring your foot up that is called dorsiflexion okay and uh, all the muscles that that um, you know um, that that insert to, towards the towards the dors dorsal side of the foot they 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 um they bring the dorsiflexion okay and uh and the muscles that that uh, that insert toward the middle side of the foot are called the uh, they bring up the in inversion inversion okay and um and the muscles that that uh that that um attach toward the uh, toward the lateral side of the foot are they they cause the eversion okay and um and uh, posterior compartment muscle they they bring the plantar flexion okay and uh, one of the important points in this in this muscle is that the these all muscles are innervated by the deep fibular nerve okay now uh, I, I have also explained the deep, the the, the, the nervous supply of the lower limb so um, so uh, regarding that the deep the deep Fibular nerve is a, is a branch of the common fibular nerve, which is again the branch of the tibial nerve. Okay, and tibial nerve is a branch of a sciatic nerve. Okay, so yeah, um, so all these muscles in the anterior compartment of leg are they are uh, they are innervated by the deep fibular nerve. L4 to S1 and the artery supply is via the anterior tibial artery. Okay, guys. And these muscles are there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now coming to the muscle muscles in the lateral compartment of leg. So we have only two muscles in the in this group. Uh, they are fibulous longus and brevis. Okay. And they bring about the eversion. As I have discussed in the in my in my previous slide, the muscles that that uh attach themselves towards the lateral side of foot are called they, they bring up the eversion okay and plantar flexion plantar flexion means uh bringing the foot down okay like this uh, i can't show you <laughs> because yeah okay so a uh, fibula is brevis action is eversion of foot okay so uh, remember this guys the the muscles that that that, that Attach themselves towards the dorsal side of the foot. They are they, they bring up the dorsiflexion. The muscles that that, that attach themselves towards the middle side of foot. They, they bring up the inversion, and the muscles that that, that attach themselves towards the lateral side of foot. They, they bring up the eversion. Okay. Now muscles in the posterior compartment of leg. So there are there are there are in total seven muscles and they can be divided into superficial and deep compartments okay now superficial compartment there are only three muscles within the superficial compartment of a posterior leg they all insert onto the calcaneus heel bone of the foot via the calcaneal tendon okay so the the name of the three muscles that 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 constitute the posterior compartment of leg are the soleus and plantaris okay 
now all these muscles they bring they bring the plantar flexion but but only the gastrocnemius it it bring it brings up plantar flexion as well, as well as flexion of the knee joint okay gastrocnemius okay. remember this guys this is very important okay okay gastrocnemius brings up the plantar flexion and the and the flexion at the knee joint okay this is a diagram showing the muscle in the posterior compartment of leg so this is the head of the gastrocnemius uh, there are actually two heads short head and long head okay um, in this diagram it is a it is a cut cut section of the gastrocnemius okay this, this small shooter muscle is the plantaris okay and this is the soleus okay and all these muscles they converge into the calcaneal tendon and they attach themselves towards the calcaneus okay which you call the heel bone okay now muscles of foot so the muscles of foot uh, can be again divided into two distinct groups extrinsic and intrinsic muscles okay now this uh, now uh, all the all the extrinsic muscles we have we have now studied what are those anterior lateral and posterior compartment of of leg okay um these are called the extrinsic muscles of foot now intrinsic okay uh intrinsic muscles are located within the foot and are responsible for the fine motor actions of foot for example movement of individual of a uh, individual digits okay now the muscles of foot can be divided into those those located on the dorsum of foot and those in the so solar foot for those who don't know dorsum of foot whatever you can see with your naked eyes it is it is called the dorsum okay and whatever you can't see with the naked eyes it is called the sole sole means the the down part of foot okay down part this is the like um, down part okay now we are going to learn the dorsal aspect of the of the of the this um, foot okay so there are two intrinsic muscles there are only two intrinsic muscles um this is the extensor digitorum brevis and actually the hal hallucis longus okay so you you might remember that that the um, in, in hand we call the our our um big big finger this uh, thumb we call it polysis okay in case of foot we call the big toe great toe as hallucis okay so extensor the name itself tells us that what that what what it will do it will extend what what it will extend it, it will extend the great toe okay and brevis means small okay so small muscle of uh, of a foot uh, of foot um, which extends the great toe is called the extensor hallucis longus see it's very simple okay and um, they assist the they assist the extrinsic muscles of foot in 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 extending the toes and they are both are they both are inhibited by the deep fibular nerve okay so again re remind me that the deep the, that the deep fibular nerve is a branch of a tibial nerve and tibial nerve is a branch of a sciatic nerve okay now plantar aspect so there are 10 intrinsic muscles located in, located in the plantar aspect sole of the foot okay so yeah they add relatively relatively to stabilize the arches of foot and individually to control movement of, of the digits they are inhibited by medial or lateral or lateral plantar nerves which are branches of tibial nerve okay so so i i have discussed this in my in my um, in my video on on the nerves of that side of the lower limb so you can watch it out okay for for more de details okay now muscles of plantar aspect are they are arranged in four layers superficial to deep okay now we are going from from a very top layer to the bottom layer okay so first layer so the first layer of uh, of muscles that are that are um the, the, that form the interesting muscles of foot are the abductor hallucis 
Flesser Dijon Bravis and the Abductor DT Minimi. Okay. So uh, as you can see the the name itself tells us very much about the about the muscle. Okay. Abductor halysis. What is abductor? Abductor means bringing the body away. Away. Okay. From the body. So hal halysis means great toe. Okay. So what so what will what will we what will this muscle do? This muscle this muscle will um will bring the great toe outwards away from the body okay now flexor digital brevis okay now what this will do um, the name itself tells us that flexor flexor means it will flex what what what, what it will flex it will flex lateral photos at the proximal inter interphalangeal joints okay now uh, you guys might know that the, that we have seven uh, seven tarsal bones okay Five metatarsal and fourteen phalanges. Okay, so uh, so so the joints which connect the phalanges are called the interphalangeal joints. Okay, so so this muscle will cause the flexion of the of those joints. Okay, and abductor digiti mini um yeah abduction of the and flexion of of a little toe. Okay, now second layer. The second layer, plantar layer, contains two muscles, quadratus planti and lumbricals. Okay. And the 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 tendons of flexor digitum longus, an extensive muscle, also travel through this layer. Okay. Um, plus, uh, as you might know that the flexor digitum longus is a it is a muscle of the leg. Okay. So so this muscle also um runs along this second layer. Okay. Now quadratus planti assists the flexor digitum longus in flexion of lateral four toes, lumbricals. So in total, in total, in total we have four lumbricals. Okay, and this is called the flexion at the metatarso metatarso phalangeal joints and extension at the inter interphalangeal joints. Okay, now uh, here comes the important part. Important part. Medial lumbrical is 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 inhibited by the medial plantar nerve, and the lateral three lumbricals are they are um, inhibited by the lateral plantar nerve. Okay. Now coming to the third layer, so we have three muscle three muscles in the third layer. They they are uh, uh, adductor hallucis, okay, uh, flexor hallucis brevis. And the flexor digiti minimi brevis. Okay. Um. Yeah. And uh, talking about about the innovation of the of this muscles. So flexor hallucis brevis. It 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 innovates the medial plantar nerve. Okay. And adductor hallucis and flexor flexor digiti minimi. They they are both innovated by the lateral plantar nerve. But the thing is that the Adductor is inhibited by the deep branch of lateral, of lateral plantar nerve, and flexor digiti minimi is 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 inhibited by the by the superficial branch of the of the lateral plantar nerve. Okay. So now coming to the last and final final layer of the of the intrinsic muscles of the foot. So we have the fourth layer. Fourth layer comprises the dorsal and the Palmar interosseous muscles. Okay, as you can see in this diagram, this is the this is the dorsal and this is the palmar. Okay, and uh, you can tell by the by the morphological appearance that the dorsal interosseous is the bipinnate, two two heads. Okay, and the palmar interosseous is only th one head, the unipinnate and and has only three muscles. Okay, now uh, talking about action of this muscles. So palmar interosseous this this um this muscles they uh they cause the adduction of the lateral three three digits and the flexion at the metatarso phalangeal joints okay and the dorsal interosseous they cause the abduction of the full of the lateral four digits and flexion at the metatarso phalangeal joints okay guys
so th that was it for the video and uh, i am going to give you the question so please uh, answer the, that question which now innovates actions are digital brevis and actions analysis brevis type your answer in the in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one guys bye